so much to pour it so much to put in here so i'm kind of doing a bit of clean up clean up some of the old projects that i had in here and now basically i'm here and so these are my my um existing and uh, open jupyter notebooks that i want to pour to strange works um i still got it so this week is going to be a bit of porting here and there so i'm not going to be working on a lot of serious uh i'm not going to be doing a lot of project stuff uh, but basically trying to move things around um and so we've got here the hello many worlds uh project the crowbar algorithm for nix nisc machines uh that is here right so i'm going to pour that at some point uh better ca quantum counting probably i'll do that because i i so this is still empty uh and this is this guy here so counting um yeah, basically, because I also I also didn't really finish these, but I'm thinking I'll port it, and at the same time I'll actually do this in uh, in Cirque. I'll probably do that because I, I I think it's nicer. Uh, it's a, it's a nicer way to uh, play uh, with the examples and uh, get familiar with the language as well. Uh, what I was trying to do: example Grover iteration. Oh yeah, I was trying to get those curve iterations and then trying to play, um, trying to control that. Yeah, trying to control that. And I think the yeah, whole idea here is that if I go to the bookmarks and I go to workspace, I think it was quantum counting. So it was based on this idea here, where this is basically, uh, here I got, I, I basically got some, some of those operators, uh, no, some of those oracles. No, it's Oracle plus the diffusion. So it's the whole, it's Grover. So it's the whole Grover thing. And that chance of being on is directly correlated to the number of elements that are flagged. And that's what I wanted to kind of programmatically play with. Um, so this is this project. So probably going to do this today. Uh, but as this is in, I don't know, that's already a circ project. That's cool. Then we've got interface analysis is a new thing, simulating a logical qubit that's also work in progress that I need to put in here. So this is basically um, this is basically that stuff QEC here in Kubernetes. Okay, quantum. Yeah, I think and I think that's about it. Like sort of the stuff that I have got that I've got open right now with code. Um, and then we'll take it from there uh, and do something which kind of go ahead with something which is a bit more, um, you know, kind of going back to some of the papers probably uh, or projects that I left open. We'll see. Is the is uh, is this already available? Okay, not yet. Can it first SDK integrator? Okay, cool. Once this is ready, oh. So many other ideas. Cool. Um, perfect. So, well, let's just go with quantum beta quantum counting. I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just start from here. Uh, and so I'm gonna basically. No 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 no. So I still don't go don't get much. Why is key zero 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 one? Those are the qubits, right? But shouldn't this be? Where's the Pine Resolver? Circ Pine Resolver, Circ. That bothers me a little bit that I'm not really familiar with that. Uh, Resolve symbol structure values. Yeah, okay, but, but what is it doing? Uh, Pine Resolver is for the simulator. I don't know what, it, what what is this really doing. So I think I just might uh, tutorial uh, devices simulation. Maybe it's going to be here. Parameterized the param yeah, but that's for parameterized values which we are not using any any anyhow. Param resolver so existence. Okay. But this is not being used right now, right? So, B0, that's not used anywhere in here. So I'm gonna just comment that out for the moment. 
Uh, we got the uh, we've got the uh, so uh, I think an issue with a pointer here. Um, resolver. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I'm gonna get rid of these. Should be a repetition, right? Something's off with the. Oh, come on, I'll just, I'll just sure. I should probably refresh that. I think my I think my my screen casting is messing with this a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's work. that works well now. So we got the circuit thing here, the prime resolver. We're getting rid of it right now. Uh, repetitions. We're going with uh, thousand twenty four, and so we're plotting here. Okay, so we've got these. Mm, look at the keys. Yeah. Anyway. So this is basically where we put our stuff in the circuit and whatnot. So what we're doing here, we need to port these. So I want to port these. Basically, the whole idea here is I wanted a way to, I want to create a function that would basically, given a number of qubits and the number of values, it was just, uh, it was just flag. Uh, it would just flag that number of, uh, that number of values really right um so why why did i want to do that so i wanted to do that because i basically wanted to say okay uh so example group iteration three three one right um and so it create three qubits and it would flag one value. Okay. And so it's a multi, it's going to multi X. Mm. Okay, so let's try first to do a basic one that just does, um, that just just takes these because I think so. Circ, I saw the the gate circuits. So actually, I can return this. I can easily append circuits. So I just can do. Uh, I, I just can do a function that returns a circuit. Or yields portions of it because you can yield multiple times. So we can do it this way def my layer. So so we can do it this way. So we can just basically say, um, so this is gonna be uh, Grover, Grover iteration, right? And it's gonna have uh, reset, uh, ah, I have a problem with the time switching. I'm gonna switch taps. Whatever. Um, number of qubits, number of values. Uh, so and the uh, qubits and the values to flag. And this is always gonna be a. Um, but how does it work with the yield? So you yield multiple times, and then what are you doing? for x in my layer, print x. Okay. Mm, print, print. Ah, so you append, you can append the whole layer and that works. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. So the append works iteratively as well. It, it goes through all the yields. Um, uh, good. So what we want to do here is we want to have uh, basically we want to create uh, 
I'm lost. So we we wanna we want to create uh, as many qubits as we specify. Um, so it's gonna be just qubits. So it's gonna be uh, just qubits equals. Uh, and then we'll just do a uh, basically uh, circ greet qubit uh, zero x for image. Can I do something like that? Qubits. Uh, I just I just I'm so bad at. Uh, for x and range at Python in general, so I just do like this Python. <laughs> oops, 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 the for loop. But I think that works as well, right? Yeah. So you got the qubits in here, and then uh, and then basically now uh, what? Um, so we want to build Grover's algorithm. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, 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 do this, right? So we need to have, uh, so we need to yield. Okay, so we need to do, 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 do. so what we need to do is, first thing is yield um, Grover. Oracle qubits and the values, right? So we're going to make another function that's giving us the Oracle Grover. Oracle, and this is going to just um, kind of do the same. And then uh, basically, for now, I'll just uh, Now, it's flex one element, okay? So basically, uh, it yields. It yields. Um, <laughs> it yields. What does it yield? It yields a multi-control. Okay, so it, it yields a uh, the element that's all one, for example, right? So it's a multi-control. How does it do this? So circ gates magic method CCZ Toffley inverse inverse. How I can create a multi, I probably have to do this. Circ, multi-control, uh, Z. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or do I have to build it myself probably with Ancilla qubits? Do I? How would you? What's the control? Is that, can I just search for this? Search set, project set. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. CC that um, the exponent equals one instance of CC power gate. Okay, 
the CC power gate is just uh, okay, but this is just the uh, yeah, like a general form. Mm. But basically, that's what I need here, right? So I need a, I need these kind of like a, a control control uh, control control Z. Um, so if we assume, for now we assume three qubits. So this is really just going to be uh, circ CCZ. Uh, do I need to CCX, CCZ? Gates. Can, can I just specify it like these? Probably. Uh, qubits. Zero qubits. One. Qubits two. Can I do it like this? Mm. How do I know that? How can I know that uh, on, okay, should, should work, should work based on these here. Uh, do, do, do. Now we'll figure out how to do higher order ones. Uh, it's not yield, but yield, good. So good, uh, it yield. So yield the yield that, and then basically yield a layer of Hadamard. So H X for each X in range and the qubits. So an H for all of them, and then yield. Um, uh, so this is so this is the, and then the diffuser operator, right? Like these so and then basically uh, kind of yield this thing and assuming it's only so just to prototype it quickly uh, that it prints the whole thing well so how to mark and then uh, and then you just yield that thing again right that correct so mm -hmm. should be correct now let's see if I uh, go ahead and say so circuit so I create a circuit I've got to create a circuit and append it so circuit C uh, circ circuit, right? Okay, and then I just can I just do can I just initialize it with no? Okay, circuit, and then I say the append. Uh, or I can just do like these, okay? So I can just do over iteration. No, it's not what we want, because we want, remember, we want these. So we want, okay, so we want a QB. Um, ah. So we want to, okay, no, no, no. We want to turn that into control operation. Uh, and then we want to do the Hadamards in here, and the Hadamards in here. So, uh, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. This, this is strategy pattern, slicing, training of circuits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So what is this? For control, so for the control statements. Okay, what is this? And the chasm. This is a thing with chasm and conversion rules. Those are the things. Uh, consider the measurement keys, patterns, importing from open chasm gates. Uh, we want to have. Uh, what do we want to have? What do we want to have, my friend? So we want to have. We want to create a circuit, and we want to create a circuit with. We're going to assume for now. Um, we're going to assume for now. I still. I still, I'm still kind of, uh, I'm still struggling with the fact that qubits is like you're you're literally creating the qubits separate from separate from the circuit. That's essentially different than what you do with Qiskit, right? So, so you kind of use qubits in here. You're gonna create a qubit. Like I'm curious whether you can just reuse these things or. Because here we need like plus one, right? Um, and so, the circuit is, it feels kind of like it's the last thing you do, right? Um, and it almost like feels now that you, what you should do is you kind of, uh, yeah, also you yield these things. Mm. No, it's not the last thing you do. It's actually no, no. You should do it now. So you do a C equals uh, circ circuit, and then you just say circ circuit, and then you just say uh, C append, uh, and now you basically you've got um, you append a Hadamard layer. From range, can I just do range like that? I think you can, right? I think you can. Mm. So you're applying just the Hadamard in there. Now I would need. How can I? How can I turn? A whole circuit in a control circ operation. Controlled, 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 controlled. How can I do that? So, yeah, clone it, pause it, frag it, pause it. No. Gates, uh, gates, gates, gates. Control Z gate, control hardware. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, no simulation circuits. There's no stuff in here. So, what if I take a look at the API reference and uh, experiments, noisy measurements, devices and qubits, poly circuits, importing and supporting sampling. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. So, circ. Uh, control unitary. How can I make a control? How to control gates? Controlled by. Mm. Okay. The control. How do I do that? Uh, OPC target controlled by control qubit. Controlled by. Okay. You can also use control before specifying the target qubits. Uh huh. So building throughout operations and general fall back to more general methods. Has to fall back to more general controlled by. Controlled by, but will that work actually? I just say if I just search for controlled by, 
Mm -mm -mm. Controller in the face operation controlled by circle operation controlled by. Turn this. I need to. I would need to turn that circuit into an operation, right? Um, I knew how to do that. I think. And circ. Okay, read the docs. Into a gate operation. Yeah, but so those are already operations. But I wanna circ control by Uh, so here, okay, so I'm going to make any given gate controlled by an arbitrary number of control cubes. This is an example. Oh, okay, so actually I can do that. Ah, so I can actually do uh, that. That tells me here I don't have to assume three, so I can actually do circ circ z on like uh, uh, qubits qubits and b qubits minus one, right? Controlled by, and now I just do control by. That would be awesome. If you can just do that. Can I give control by an array? I give it use an unpacking asterisk. So you can do it like this. What is an unpacking asterisk? Python. Unpacking asterisk. What is the what is an unpacking asterisk? So, qubits. Control by controls. Specific form is going to be tricky. She's answering. Okay. Line cube, it's like controlled by. Ah, okay. So you kind of. But was this expression in here? I want to do. I want to do unpacking asterisk. Also, oh, it's written like this asterisk. It's an unpacking asterisk. Um, for unpacking, unpacking. Okay, so how how does it work? So primes, no unpacking numbers of primes is not. Uh, numbers. Okay, so this unpacks it. No. For a tuple, it could be done exactly, blah, blah, blah. Unpacking, okay, so product numbers. So that unpacks the whole thing. So Python unpack array. 
ignoring first element. Something like this. Rest, A, B, rest, rest. Okay, to get the first two elements of the list, you do like these. I just don't want the last one. Just don't want the last one. Controlled by, but this would be some sort of, uh, so this should be then some sort of um, like using these, right? You just say qubits. I'm gonna say, uh, if this is telling you minus one, well, probably there, because probably what they're doing here is you're, they're doing just like a minus one, so it's like all but not the last one. Um, and I want to do maybe minus one on this side. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> probably that doesn't work. Um, okay, so I kind of basically do this. I'm not assuming now anymore. So I'm, I'm a circ. It's an operation that's a Z operation on qubit and qubits minus one. So the last qubit. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. So this is one thing. And uh, so we kind of can use the same here. So we also don't have to see on three. Good. So, but where were we? So, uh, no, 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 no. So this is this, and now we were here at um, the qubits, and now I am basically at the point where I want to get. Uh, I want to get. I want to get all this the Grover iteration stuff controlled. Controlled by a qubit. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I should do it like this. So I should say, uh, better qubits. Now I get basically Grover's iteration. It's just, uh, no, just these three, one. And now I say basically, exactly. And now I say circuit, C equals. No, 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 I basically say, I basically now say, um, uh, da, 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 da. To, con to, to control that, so, so C Grover uh, would be so what I would. What I would say is that C Grover iteration, it's Grover iteration on qubits, let's say, uh, No, on. So here again, I need to unpack and I need probably something like that. So on all the qubits, but not the first one. Um, and now I say control by qubits zero. So that will be it, I guess. Uh, so we can just we can just do this C Grover in C Grover in and and so basically the um, the circuit is circuit is uh, circuit circuit 
is basically C and it's a layer of Hadamards. Layer of Hadamards that goes for each X in range one, two uh, qubits uh, plus one, then it's C Grover it. Yeah. Then is Yeah. So then is by the way, uh, it's actually the first step is how to mark on qubits. And so this is how to mark on qubits x. The same way I got it. Okay, I'll I'll do I'll fix this now. So. Uh, for x in this range, and then uh, this, and then a, then a uh, harder mark, and then uh, without a measure, another harder mark, QB zero, and then a measurement. So what was the circuit measure? Measure measurement gates circuits circuits measure. Circuits. Measure, measure, measure. Oh, I do measurement. Um, it's circ. Circuits. Especially is dropping the line, the last moment, which are often just measurements, or reversing or reversing a circuit. Mm -hmm. Gates. Measurement gate. What examples? Measure. All the qubits measure. Circ measure. You give it a key. Okay, it's just like that. So, circ measure qubit zero, uh, and we'll give it a key measurement. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Good. So, I think that's it, right? It's probably going to break everywhere. So this is gone. And so we're running C a thousand times. But first, first things first, we just want to print. So I, how can I print? Let's print circuit. So C, what I want to see. I want to print the circuit. I want to print the circuit, but it's probably going to break. Um, let's wait. Oh yeah, sorry. It's of of course going to break. So I'm gonna gonna do this here. So I basically copy that and I think that's definitely going to be failed. Each x in range is four, not for each probably. We're gonna put it for e four x x range. Let's see. Um, so then I'll just need a mechanism to create the other combinations that can be flagged for x. How do how do they do this? Uh, come on, I've seen this here and circuits. Uh, no, 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 no. Here, for i in range, okay. For i in range, and what's the problem with what's the problem with my for x in range? So what's the problem here? Invalid, invalid syntax. Yeah, I mean, no, is it? 
for. So what's the invalid syntax in here? Cupid. Here's an array, right? So Or maybe just the fact that it probably should do these all over the place. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Right? Mm hmm. Can we run this code, please? Failed. Invalid syntax. Why? Why is it invalid? It's in line 28. So it seems that runs all good. Oh yeah. I'm missing a comma here and I'm missing a comma here. I'm stupid, just stupid. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So now line 23, 23 for X in range. And the cubis is not defined. 23. Yay. So, yeah, kind of. So, and the cubits, and what, what else is not defined? So, and the cubit is 3. And this should be, uh, yeah, and, and the values is 1. And that should be this thing. Here, so let's run the code. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on. Object has not read on proliferation. Okay, so I'm, I'm not, it's not that easy. Uh, line 27. Okay, so we're, we're now here. So it goes through all these, but this on. Uh, okay, because that's. So you're yielding all that stuff, but I want to have just a big thing. So we should really probably do this in two steps. Even not in two steps, because what I will get with this is a just an array, right? So hmm. Hmm. This is definitely not work. Not gonna work. This is definitely not gonna work. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if this. Let's first see. Let, let's let's see one thing. So let's let's just um let's just pop comment all that and then uh, let's say c equals just test. Let's test step by step. Okay. So c equals equals circ circuit and then C append over iteration basically now I'll just print I'll print that let's see if that first of all works the way that I expect it to work also doesn't work append missing one required optional arguments why pend okay maybe this only works if i do it this way so it, as a it allows the, the 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 creation using these i'm learning silk here okay so i'm um so this is not blah. what is going on here mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
so you're yielding this if I should have started smaller I think I just coded too much without trying whether things work or not so I'm gonna try to run this now that also doesn't work either so what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong um, because I thought that was the whole point of this is that uh, you can append. Maybe I'm just not understanding the yield statement stuff from Python and, and the whole thing here. Um, but I thought you could uh, constructing circuits. I thought you could do it this way. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong here? So, uh, curve iteration, so curve iteration qubits. Uh -huh. It doesn't work like these. So, yield, 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 yield. Uh, Yield, yield, but my layer works like this, right? So append circuit append. Oh, so wait a second. Maybe I should. No. Okay, let's try this. So this and then append append these, right? Save. Run the code. Run the code. Run the code. Um. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, circ circuit, what am I doing wrong? So this works here, right? So oh, it, it yields stuff, and then so it, it's creating these, and so you can put my layer, right? Yield, yield, yield. So what's wrong here? So it, I call this function, it creates the qubits. Uh, or it doesn't it work like that? So does it create? Yeah. Oh, wait a second. So the qubits are here. So the qubits are here. Where? Where are these qubits? Where are these qubits? Uh. So it creates these qubits, many qubits, and then it, it applies this curve iteration and the qubits and the values. Mm. And what is it? Here failing for least object has not actually dimension. List object doesn't have a natural dimension. Line twenty-eight. Line twenty-eight. Uh Line 28, line 28. So, uh, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? So what if I just... Uh, so if I just copy this... Qubits, qubits, da 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 or should I should those qubits be global and then those functions just um, uh, kind of go through uh, through these? Maybe that's the issue, right? These qubits are being created in here. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm a bit lost to be honest. Circuit append calls with the list of different operations we're adding to the circuit, but the argument where we have supplied this can also say. 
mm, recall any Python function that have a yield are generators. Generators are functions that act as iterators. Uh, above, we see that we can iterate over my layer. We see that we do this, each of the yields produces what, what was yielded. And here, these are operations. These are operations that are very mixed. But when the past is iterated dependent method, something magical happens. Circuit is able to flatten all these elements, pass them in the giant leads to circuit appends. This works for circuit insert. Yeah. So it should flatten this stuff. But it does not. Uh, but it doesn't really work for me right now. Right, Kroger iteration, the QBs and the values, the QBs, and, and then yield this stuff. And, and what I get is that no attribute dimension. So Maybe this is what's the issue, what's causing the issue. Maybe some of these yield statements. Let's just comment some of those and see if this thing works. Okay, let's get it to work and then I'll move on to the next thing. So, okay, that works. Cool. And that's probably what breaks. Yeah, that's what breaks. Because it's controlled by, because it's a, okay, because this is a, yeah, so this is these, this should go this way. That's what happens, probably. Mm, no. Okay, so my, my CZ is failing in here. Um, Maybe because of these, you know, maybe because of this unpacking. So, okay, so we'll have to work on these later, uh, I guess. So for now, uh, we would just yield. Uh, but I also can yield a, uh, if I wanted to yield a, circ ccz. CCZ, and I want to do it on uh, qubits. Does this work? Yeah, that works because it's three, right? And it doesn't matter which one is the target. That's the point. Okay, so that works. Mm, why did I want to? Why did I want it to control by? Ah, because I wanted to control by. Okay, so this is what I need to fix. So this is what I need to fix. For now, this uh, for now this works. So if I do this, yield these. That, that still we're assuming we have three qubits. Uh, grow Oracle, Oracle, so that kind of should work, right? If I run this, uh, yeah, what has this created? A Hotomar sandwich, exactly. So if I do this now, this also should work. No, I don't want to share that, I want to run. Yeah, perfect. So it does the actual Oracle, then it does the actual diffuser operator. Oh, but I'm, I missed actually, I'm missing here. Uh, I'm missing here, uh, missing here a layer of X's of X, exactly. So here we go. So here we go. Yeah, so this is about it. Um, cool, so this works. And if I now say, uh, Okay, so now this is probably not gonna work either if I just now.
if I just now call here control by, okay, so I need to figure out the control by things. I need to figure out the control by things, but I'm kind of half done porting this. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I ended up not porting it, but just kind of building it from scratch as I, I see here. But it's cool that I can at least create the control sets this way. Uh, I mean, yeah, I could also probably, but um, this control by seems interesting. And the fact that you can just unpack things like that just makes it easy. Uh, but that's a Python thing. Uh, the fact you can, uh, so I'm curious if this works. I mean, if you apply a Z and then you kind of control that operation by an arbitrary amount of, of controls, that would be definitely uh, an interesting uh, thing to achieve. Cool. Let's see, I'll leave it here for now. Um, I might do some work aside and I don't know if I'll just go through everything via videos. Um, probably yes, Just it just helps me learn while I while I just do this. Uh, so yeah, cool. Thank you for watching.